approved for Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, and VA beneficiaries. A big ol' benefit raise. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now this is a topic that I continue to see showing up down below in the comments section, and I wanna take a few minutes in this video to offer some clarity and let you know where we currently stand, as I've been seeing a lot of confusion on this topic down below, so let's jump into it and talk about all the details and what you need to know and how it pertains to your monthly benefit for all the millions of beneficiaries I mentioned just a few seconds ago at the beginning of this video. Let's jump right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm watching all this new information, the announcements, the updates, the reports, and anything else coming out right now, doing all the necessary research and and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now and how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account. And of course, I also want to point out anything in regards to money, benefits, raises to benefits, programs, stimulus, or anything else like that for the low income and of course, all the fixed income beneficiaries as things continue to change very rapidly. And we're also getting a lot of announcements and new bills, packages, proposals, amendments, and reform out of Congress on a very regular basis as well. I truly want to help you out in any way that I can. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Totally free to do so. And I will continue to be here for you right by your side every single day. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right. Thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about the big old benefit raise and what this all means for fixed income beneficiaries. And no, by the way, big old benefit raise is not technically the real name on this thing. That's just what I'm calling it because honestly, it is a big old benefit raise. And finally, we're actually getting something because for how many times in our lives as fixed income beneficiaries have we looked at the situation and feel like, when, once again, they forgot about us. Once again, they overlooked us. Once again, we missed out, right? How many times has that happened to fixed income beneficiaries? Feels like every single time, right? Well, this time it's actually not. And a big old benefit raise is actually on the table. And yes, it will be coming for sure. Now, here's the thing. Recently, we got the announcement out of the Social Security Administration on the big old benefit raise, otherwise known as the COLA or cost of living adjustment for 2023. I've been seeing a ton of comments down below saying, it's not happening, it's not real, it's not coming, it's not passed, it's not approved. I mean, you name it, all kinds of things like this. Here's the thing, let me bring up the speed on this because here's what uh, the cool thing about the COLA. It does not need to be passed. It does not need to be approved. Well, it does need to be approved. It does not need to be passed by Congress. It does not need to be signed by the president. It does not need to go through the House of Representatives. It does not need to go through the Senate. It does not need the majority of lawmakers to pass it. It does not need to do anything with Congress or the president. Once the Social Security Administration makes that announcement, which they've already done, therefore, it's a done deal. That's it. That is end of story. That is it. Now, I've also seen some comments down below saying, I haven't gotten it yet. It's not coming. It, it It's all made up. No, it's not. Here's the thing. And again, I know that the vast majority of you here in the community know this, but again, I just want to make this all clear because I know when we see something like this, when we see a big announcement like this, we get very, you know, little restless, right? We think, all right, bring it on. Let's, let's get that money. Come on. Let's bring that money flowing right into my pocket here, okay? How quickly can I get it, right? I think we all get a little bit antsy thinking, I need it today. Please get it to me. I totally agree with you. Let's get it on. Let's let's do this, right? Come on, Social Security. Let's send it on over. But that's not how it works, right? It actually comes in January, okay? So I know we still got a little bit of time to wait here. And again, waiting is, is not very fun, especially right now as we're, you know, pretty much in the holiday season here, entering right in and, you know, everybody wants to get out there. Maybe, I don't know, buy something for yourself or maybe uh, somebody that you love and care about, you know, somebody like that. Even though this year, according to all the reports, most people are really going to cut back in a huge, huge way uh, over previous years. So I can talk about all those reports in a separate video, but it's actually very interesting interesting, some of the reports I've been reading lately, how a huge percentage of the population is going to cut back in a big, big way. At least that's what the reports are saying. And that's apparently what Americans are saying as of right now. We'll see when the temptation comes around, when, you know, 
a great deal arises on something we've been watching for a while and we think, ah, <laughs> I'm going to go for it, right? Not sure how I'm going to swing this one, but I'm going to go for it anyway, right? So anyway, but I do think, you know, a lot of people are really going to cut back because what we're experiencing right now is a very, very different situation. This economy and inflation and prices and everything right now is just hammering on people right now. It is not a good situation. But again, we'll focus on all that in a separate video. But the fact of the matter is when it comes down to the COLA, that's it. As soon as we get that announcement out of Social Security, which we've already gotten, uh, once we get the last piece of information as, uh, as a result of the inflation data, right? So July, August, and September inflation data. All of those releases come out the month afterwards. So July's came out in August, August came out in September, and September came out in October. Well, once we got all those pieces of information, then the Social Security Administration comes out right away and announces what the COLA will be. It does not go to Congress. It does not go to the president. They don't ask for approval from the lawmakers. Forget about those people. When it comes down to the COLA, that's the super cool thing about it. Social Security, they have the authority to say with Within the, you know, within the rules and whatever of uh, Social Security, um, you know, this is what we're doing. And this is what we have, you know, according to our calculations, according to the inflation data, this is what we're, you know, going to be implementing the cost of living adjustment going to be for the following year. In this case, it's the COLA for 2023. So for all the comments down below that maybe you have not seen it yet hitting your benefit, I know. It's unfortunate. We have not seen it hit our benefits yet. It is not going to hit our benefits until January payments. Now, it depends on what kind of benefit you're getting. You could be getting it, you know, early in January. You could be getting it late in January. You could be getting it in the middle of January. But whenever you typically get your payment, that is when you're going to be getting it in January 2023. And remember, this is also a permanent raise to benefits. It is not some temporary business. It's not a thing that comes in for a year and then disappears after 12 months. Nope, it's there forever. That is it. It is going to stay. So uh, once your benefit increases, you're going to get that benefit increase. And then the next year, as in next year at this time, you know, you know, uh, third quarter, fourth quarter of 2023, we're going to be getting the next COLA raise announcement for 2024 based on inflation in 2023. And according to everything that I'm looking at right now, and according to what the analysts, experts, and economists are now saying, it's likely we're going to see this inflation probably going into 2023. So we'll see how long this actually persists and what happens here. But according to what I've been reading on this for a very long time, and according to my calculations that I've given you over the last several months here, it's going to take them at least one full year aggressively going after this inflation to bring it down. Have they really been doing that? Let me ask you this much. Has inflation budged over the last, I don't know, six months? Um, it's budged like half of a percent, okay? It hasn't really gone anywhere. This inflation <laughs> is uh, running the show here, right? This inflation is running the show when it comes down to everything. So anyway, just want to throw that out there for you. It's going to take a long time, much, much longer than what they keep telling us that it's going to be. You know, we keep hearing from all these politicians and all these people coming out saying, oh yeah, we're going to have this inflation under control in like a couple months. No, they're not. There's just no possible way. Unless they crater this economy, unless they literally push it off a cliff, and when it gets to the bottom, run it over with a bunch of bulldozers, smash it up, and then light it on fire. You know, seriously, that's the only way that they can bring this inflation down, and that's not going to happen either, okay? <laughs> I know, kind of a dramatic uh, analogy there, but seriously, that's what it would take to bring this inflation down, and it's not going to happen. They're not going to do that to this economy. There's just no way. I've talked about it before. When it comes down to this inflation, they're going to work on it, but as soon as the economy crashes and burns, they're going to switch and they're going to say, just kidding, inflation isn't that big of a deal. And we're going to worry about, um, you know, bringing this economy back and all this other kind of business. Watch this. Seriously, trust me on this one. They will pivot as soon as the economy contracts more than what they want. And inflation will still be high at that point. You're going to watch them pivot and they're going to say, you know, things like, oh, well, you know, this inflation, you know, it'll go down eventually or whatever, whatever they say. The new normal. Remember that one over the last couple of years here? The new normal. That was like the classic tagline over the last couple of years here. We're entering into a new normal. Well, guess what? This inflation is going to be the new normal, right? So anyway, I don't want it to be. I'm just being real with you right now. So anyway, when it comes down to your raise, 
don't worry about it. It's approved. It's already a done deal. Social Security has announced it. That's it. We do not need to wait for all the lawmakers to sit around and sip on their coffee and, you know, vote 16 times to decide to move forward and vote another 27 times to decide that, yes, it's going to be approved. Nope. Forget about them. It's already a done deal. So that's it. Hope that kind of makes sense. And again, I know super basic stuff here, but I wanted to come back and clarify this because I see so many comments down below concerned about this. I know we got to be patient for a little bit longer here until January. January, can you imagine? Oh, not sure where you are, but January, it's cold, right? It's not a fun time of year. <laughs> so time to head south, right? Anyway, just like a bird, right? Just go south. That's it. Just go south for a few months hang out in the sunshine, and then fly back north when it gets a little bit warmer. Anyway, hope you're having a nice day so far. Again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Thanks again for being part of the community. I truly do appreciate it. I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right, until next time, enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later in the